Hey guys, um, here's another video about firearms. Yay! So, what I got here is my uh, Simplex 2099-9795. And then I got a Commander 2 over here, which should have its trim plate on. There we go. Then I got a 12-inch subwoofer. And, yeah, so I'm going to be coating my fire alarm in March time with a thermal flasher relay for a turn signal. I actually got two of these. Well, one of them right now, but the other one's in my dad's car because his came with a broken one. So yeah, first I got this little flash relay. I got a light because that's what makes it flash because that's... It has high enough wattage to make the... Th the the code and then I got a 12 volt DC power supply alligator clips to my pull station and a really quick let you hear it so you know what it sounds like it's actually not that loud because this is usually about a hundred decibels and I think it's only like 50 right now because like it's it's not even as loud as my 7002T on 20 volts. Usually that's on 20 volts. Whoops. My finger was there. That looked right. <laughs> but yeah, let's pull it. And then... I'll show you how loud it is on the other side of my room. Three, two, one. That's how my uh, Commander 2 looks in March time. I'm going to put that back together and then power it in a minute. After this video, probably. 7000 GG. And yeah, sorry about that. That was my hand. Yeah. But yeah, I'm using my mom's phone. Because my phone has freaking no memory. That's my phone, by the way. I cracked the screen worse. You can probably see it better if I turn the screen on. <laughs> nope. But yeah. I'll show you how I set it up. So first, I got my um, flasher and a um, light and I wired it to the turn signal relay wiring it to the pull station and then the power goes to the light and the alarm so yeah that's pretty much how I powered it and that is a broken back of a 42520T bar it looks like this one but it's really not the same and yeah, this has a custom button because the other one sucks. I'll show you the the other one really sucked. All the wires can't well god damn it. All the wires came unsoldered and it was kind of annoying. So I'll show you the uh freaking button in there real quick. But yeah, god damn it. Come on, lock! There we go. Pass. One second. Okay, I'm back. And I'm going to magically teleport into my floor. Actually, I just feel like doing something real quick. Okay, I just paused it and unpaused it like ten times. So yeah, that's going to make interesting audio. My room is all messy. Well, that happened. 
happened. Sorry, I was thinking. Uh, yeah, so... Let's pull it again. I got a sh that's w the one reason I paused it, is because... Sharpie is what... Well, that's, I was having trouble holding up my pulse station, so I got a Sharpie from right there. Right there. And, yeah, so let's key activate it. If I, um, covered the, um, what is it called, the freaking horn on the Commander 2, I could, um, I could let you listen what the freaking flasher sounds like. And if you want to know how to reset a T-bar, first, you pull it down. Let me unplug this so, so I don't have to deal with the sound of the Commander 2 yet. Let me make sure that I didn't hold the charge. Okay, good. So first, pull it. You need a simplex B key, by the way. You, see, you can't push it back up. Or else you'll break it. So first, if it's a if it's a pull station like mine, the newer simplex T bars, first you turn it left, a hundred and eighty degrees, then you open it, see the handle springs back up, then you close it and then lock it one more time. And yeah, I'll show you how to make a brake rod out of a crayon. So let me get a crayon real quick. Okay, I got the crayon. What you do is open your T-bar, then you want to just put the crayon under the handle, then just make sure none, nothing breaks off, and then push it all the way in. It is really, like, impossible to do this with one hand, so let me pause it. Okay, guys, it's in there. As you can see, I can't pull it out, and the T-bar can't push it out. It's not even moving. So then, you want to close up your pull station. Okay, okay. One second. It won't let me freaking lock it. <sighs> oh, getting my hair in there. I haven't showed my face in the videos. Hello. How are you doing? I haven't... I forgot to show my face in a, in a video. If I freaking even did. I probably... Oh, well, I probably did. Like my shirt. That's the yellow freaking... It is all for my hood. So, yeah. So let me plug this in, and then pull it, and demonstrate the brake rod. Okay, so, so it doesn't like just slide out of there, you gotta pull it as hard as you can like this. Oh, damn it. You wanna lay it down, if you're recording you wanna lay it down, if, unless it's on a freaking wall in the back. In a back box on the freaking wall. <laughs> uh, so first, done. Let me unplug that. And then, it's a freaking crappy day outside. And I will show you that it actually broke. Actually, I'm not even sure if it broke. Mm, a little bit. <laughs> it broke, not in the middle, but you can see pieces of crayon. I 
if it doesn't break all the way and, you, and it's like possible for you to shove it back in just just shove it back in try again make sure your pull station doesn't open then try again let's see if it broke I don't think it did nope let me get another crayon Okay, finally, after eating dinner and another 10 minutes of looking for a brake rod. And as you can see, there's the crayon in there. Oh, the One second. Okay. So... Gotta get the stand on this real quick. There we go. And then I will plug it in. Just like that. Then just to make sure it's working, I will deactivate it. Okay. So and this is usually it's grass that makes sure you do not pull it unless it's an emergency. So I don't, well, brake rods are for emergencies only, but. Let me unplug. And let's see if it broke. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go get another one of my pull stations really quick. Okay, I'm back 10 minutes later because I completely forgot I was recording. Damn. Okay, for, I got my other stations, which is my Simplex, uh, 2099, 9806, uh, uh, T-Station. Then, uh, my, um, dual action pull station that I will name the Aero TCH16DA. I don't even remember. I don't, I probably won't remember that. I haven't tested this yet, have I? Yep. I did. Then, then the first pulse station I showed all of you. And yeah, the same alarm. I would use the 7002T, but that doesn't like to be on 12 volts for some reason. So great. So, let's just pull my dual action. Actually has a broken in half popsicle stick for the pull bar. This would be an illuminated switch if I had it on 125 volts AC. Like that switch over there. There's my name. And that switch over there. Back box. And subwoofer. Okay, let's do the key station. And yes, I can do, um, I can silence the horn. I can't, like, do it with a switch yet. Because, uh, yeah, because I can't. <laughs> because I don't have a switch on me right now. 
So all I have to do is find the wire and disconnect that. Throw it over there. See? That's well, being weird and it's not flashing right. There we go. Sorry about that. Okay. So, let's do that one a few more times. God damn it. Stay on alarm. Sorry about that. Let's reset. Okay, guys, that's it. Because this is like f over 15 minutes. That's it. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Yay. Bye. Have a good day. Be expecting a video from Big Sky, Montana. I'm going to go there this weekend, and I'll be there till Monday. So, yeah.